Hey guys, how's it going? What is happening? Welcome back to episode two of my Q&A series. We are back for another one. I promised you I'd be back. I'm back here one month later for the Q&A series. As promised, staying committed, we are doing this. Let's get into the video. guys welcome back to another month i hope you're all killing it out there and making it happen this is episode number two of my q a series i told you guys last month that i would be continuing this every single month and answering the questions that i get most frequently so in saying that i'm not going to waste any more of your time let's just jump straight into the video nick asks who are your favorite social media photographers while there are so many amazing photographers out there i think my favorite one at the moment is garrett king aka at short stash his work is just phenomenal i love his color grading i love his design and Oh, it is all just so good. Canna Badash Films asks, whose work on YouTube inspired you to start making videos? I think right from the beginning, my biggest inspiration was Ben Brown and Casey Neistat. They were the two leading the industry out there, especially on YouTube, and they were the ones that inspired me most. Next question, I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your username, but she asks, how can you escape from a creative rut? I'm pretty sure that all creatives go through a stage where they're not really sure of what to create or how to create, they just feel very uninspired. I too go through these stages myself, and I think just to, to to get out of that you really need to step back from your work take a break whether it's two three weeks a month however long it needs to take just stop doing the creative work that you're feeling uninspired with and do something else completely different just forget about it and I think through doing something else completely different you'll find new inspiration come up with new ideas in that thing that you're busy doing with and then that'll inspire you to get back into doing what you really love doing I think it also helps to look at other creatives work even though that might make you a bit frustrated and you look at it and you're like oh they work so good I don't know how to create work that good or my work's not that good but I think you can just start taking small pieces of other people's work and bring that into your own combination of creativity Victor asks what was the project you enjoyed most I think without a doubt and this is like kind of obvious with all the contents on my YouTube channel Red Bull flew me to Santorini last year and that was just insane I spent a week in Santorini filming for Red Bull as well as creating my own piece for the trip and that whole trip was just so fun surrounded by such good people and the content was pretty amazing as well not to mention the location honorable mentions as well just go to being in New York with my girlfriend is always incredible up next is how tall are you I am 184 centimeters which is six foot I'm pretty sure are you guys ready for this this is the big one this is the lightning round the Quinn lightning round is here with weird questions back at it again are you ready for this start the clock in three two one go. have you ever found rotten food in your room that you forgot you had not that I remember when Pluto wasn't considered a planet did you still believe it was not really I didn't really care to be honest favorite planet I mean earth is pretty beautiful Favorite type of dinosaur? This is probably super cliche, but the T-Rex was awesome. If you had to eat one thing for the rest of your life, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, what would it be? Although I'd like to say pizza, I think I'm gonna go with potatoes, because there's so many different ways you can make potatoes into food. Can you do any impressions of people or characters? Oh boy! <laughs> um, don't get all get us have layers. Always a fun time. Always a fun time on Quinn Lightning Round. <laughs> Up next, F Society asks, how do you deal with the haters? They're just like little bugs that come out of nowhere. They don't really do anything or mean anything. They're just there and annoying. And you just gotta really like flick them away. Not even care about it. Finster asks, do you ever get the feeling where you just really can't be asked about all of this video stuff? Yes, I do. And that kind of touches on the point earlier of what do you do when you're in a creative rut? So obviously there's times where I find myself where I'm not really inspired to shoot video and I just want to live life and spend my moments, my time living life and being engaged with what's happening in front of me, not filming that. So yeah, there are moments where I'm like that, but I do love doing this kind of stuff and I think I always come back to doing it because I want to share my life, my experiences and my tips and tricks and questions and answers and all the things with you guys. <laughs> YFix asks, what do you think about when people complain about gear? Does it matter? And I know what you guys are thinking already. Here's a 1DX. Obviously, he's gonna say it doesn't matter the gear because you have the best camera already. But yes, I have the 1DX, but I worked really hard to get to this point and I did so by using the gear that I had before, which wasn't the 1DX. I started out with a really cheap Nikon beginner camera and worked my way up from there. So I have experience in using lesser gear if you want to call it that but at the end of the day 
being in the position that I am with one of the best cameras on the market, I can honestly say that gear does make a big difference to your work, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter in how you tell the story or how that video is gonna come out at the end. If you go back on my channel, there is hundreds of videos where I shot it with the Canon 70D, which isn't a bad camera, but it's not the best camera in the world, and I didn't have all the gear in the world, but I still managed to build my channel up to where it is today, but it's more about the videos that I made and the stories that I told that got to where I am today. I've also done a video on using an iPhone 3GS to do a photo shoot, and the photo Photos came out really cool so it's always just about the photographer about the videographer the creative their eye and the story that they're willing to tell so gear doesn't matter it matters in getting like amazing quality but for the story it doesn't matter so just think about this let me ask you this question the most viral videos on the internet are they shot in the highest super HD movie quality or are they shot on cell phones? Tally asked, what are the best options for a cheap on-camera microphone? I started out with the Rode VideoMic Go. I used it to death. As you can see, it is destroyed. I've since upgraded to the Rode VideoMic Pro, but this is super cheap and gets pretty good quality for the price it is. And lastly, Patrick asks, what do you think of Germany? I've never been to Germany, but I am hoping to get there soon one day. And from pictures, it looks pretty insane. And I'd love to travel there and meet up with all of you guys in Germany. Woo! Another tutorial in the bag. And that wraps up that for today. I hope you guys enjoyed all the questions. I'm sorry I couldn't answer more. I'm sorry if I didn't get to your questions, but there were just so many coming in. I am trying my best, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please leave a like. Also, like I said in the last episode as well, if you guys have any questions, I wanna make this like a comments below kind of Q&A series. So please leave your questions down in the comments below and I'll do my best to get onto it in the next episode. In saying that, I'm gonna leave you here. Please like the video. If you did like it, please hit the subscribe button if you're new around here. And in the meantime, remember to stay weird, don't die, and make it happen. I'll see you guys in the next one.